Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. Beyond Zero Emissions is lobbying for a solar thermal power plant to be constructed in Port Augusta in South Australia. If the initiative goes ahead, it will be the first facility of its kind in Australia. Solar thermal power generation usually consists of a field of mirrors that focus sunlight onto an absorber or a pipe containing special fluids. The heated fluid is piped through a heat exchanger to create steam that drives a steam turbine. Beyond Zero Emissions believes a solar thermal plant could generate more power than the area's current coal power station, which generates 40% of the state's electricity demand. The Apocalypse EV is the affordable solar and battery-powered transportation that allows survivors to move around easily during a possible zombie apocalypse. Two brothers, Michael and Kenny Ham, are the masterminds behind the electric vehicle, which in this pre-apocalyptic world could be used as a neighborhood vehicle or for a bit of fun off-road. The vehicle will include 40-watt solar panels and a built-in wall charger to charge its bank of deep-cycle batteries. A prototype will be built when the brothers can raise the necessary funding. If they are able to realize their dream, the two brothers promise not to sell any of their vehicles to the undead. U.S. retail giant Walmart has announced it will install solar panels on 60 more of its stores in California. The initiative will see 75% of Walmart's stores in the state hosting solar energy systems. Walmart's California solar stores will collectively generate up to 70 million kilowatt hours per year. Each system contributes 20 to 30% of its store's total electricity requirement. Walmart aims to be supplied by 100% renewable energy and is confident it will continue to grow its solar energy program in the U.S. and around the world. The possibility of a re-merger of the energy industry, flagged by Western Australia's Barnett government, has caused the Sustainable Energy Association of Australia to speak out. The association has said that monopoly operations create barriers to developing a competitive market in the state. In 2006, the Labour government split Western Power into four energy utilities. However, Premier Barnett has said the breakup was ineffective in creating competition between Verve and Synergy, resulting in higher electricity prices. However, Chamber of Commerce and Industry Western Australia disagrees and says that a U-turn on reform could cost taxpayers more. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.